Hi, I'm Jeremy Honnold with Ramco Innovations. Today, I want to take an Optex laser measurement sensor. This is the CD22 series. It has a 0 to 10 volt analog output that's proportional to sensing distance. And I want to take that into some kind of HMI screen that will allow me to display a voltmeter. It will allow me to display millimeters or inches. This sensor also has a zero adjust function, a zero set function. So what I want to be able to do is be able to set that up remotely with the HMI, as well as a few other little things as we go along. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to go with this Unitronics PLC HMI. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what we can do. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is go to optex-ramco.com and look at the Optex laser specs and pick the one out that I want to use in this project. The series I want to use today is the CD22 series, so I just select that one. One of the cool features of our website is the ability to filter or narrow the search. I think I will select 15 millimeters and 35 millimeters. I think I'll take a look at the 6 micron accuracy models. I also want 0 to 10 volt output for the analog card. I'll also go ahead and select aluminum housing. Alright, we have quite a few of this one, so let's select it. Go ahead and click on the product specs tab and take a look. 24 volt DC, 6 micron, plus or minus 15 millimeters with a 35 millimeter standoff. So this one has a range of 20 to 50 millimeters. That's really perfect. Next, let's look at the HMI PLC. The one I have will accept 0 to 10 volts and has 10 bit resolution. Next, I need to double check and make sure the 10 bit resolution will get me the 50 micron accuracy I'm looking for. 30 divided by 1024, which is the 10 bit, 0 0.0292, so around 30 microns of accuracy. That should be fine for this project. I went ahead and did a quick wiring diagram. I'll use AN0 for the analog input. Of course, I need 24 volts DC. The zero adjust function, I'll use the relay output out of the PLC. Let's go ahead and start wiring this thing up. I went ahead and created a program and set up the HMI screen in VisiLogic. VisiLogic is the Unitronic software. It is free software and I find it very intuitive. Since there are some good tutorials already online for Unitronics, I'll just go through the basic setup of what I did for this and I think you'll get the gist of it. The first few lines use a linearization command found in the math functions. They're used to set up the voltmeter, also used to set up the display in inches, as well as in millimeters to get your fit plus or minus 15 millimeters. The next line uses a compare function that uh, sets up the out of range alarm. The next line deals with the start and stop trend line that I decided to include. And finally, the rest of the code deal with the zero set and zero reset function. All right, I'll turn on the remote access monitor. You can see over on the screen that it uh, shows that the zero set is already enabled. I'll press zero reset, it'll reset the zero point. And then I'll press zero set and I'll set the zero point. Now this is what the function block looks like for the linearization. Basically you have to set the scaled value that you want for the zero bit data as well as the 1024 bit data.
As far as setting up the HMI, here is the voltmeter. It is pretty easy to set up the various options. Here they allow you to adjust the look and feel of the various components. Adjust the thickness or length of the needle tick marks, the label, etc. The link is the memory integer from the function block. For the range, I set 0 to 100 and set up the display to read one decimal point so I could get tenths of volts. The links and jumps tab is one way to switch to other screens. That is how I set up the trend button to take me to the trends display screen that I set up. Here is the trend screen. I set this up to display the measurement data from the sensor and display it on a trend graph. It is stored in memory in the PLC, but you can also set this data to store on SD cards, etc. For sake of time, I'll skip over how I set up the trend, but the basic idea is to set up the trend to display data over time. In this case, I set it up to display the plus or minus 15 millimeter measurement data. Okay, how about a quick demo? I found this sloped part and placed it under the sensor. I'm using the remote access screen of the HMI. There's a slight delay from the actual screen, but this should give you a good idea of the setup. The first thing that I'm going to do is zero adjust the display at the top of the part. As I slide the part from the top slope to the bottom of the slope, you can see the voltage of the sensor's output. You can also see the millimeter display as well as the value in inches. When I press zero reset, the zero point resets back to the factory settings. And then I press zero set back in the center of the sloped part. When the sensor goes out of range, the display changes to red. I also put up a small bar graph display that when the measurement values are between plus or minus 10 millimeters, the display will be in green, and when outside of that, the display will show red. While I'm at it, here is the trend screen. Just press Start Trend and record the data, and then when finished, press Stop. You can then go back and review the trends by pressing the arrow buttons. If you found this video informative, please give us a like and consider subscribing. For more information, visit our website at optex-ramco.com or call us at 800-280-6933. Thanks for watching.